From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Legrone. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Keeping your children safe, training for the first ever armed guardians for Florida public schools is now underway. And our cameras got a first-hand inside look in Polk County today. 130 people there trying to fill 90 positions this fall. So far, only three applicants have been disqualified. Hillsborough County deputies just making history, authorities announcing today that Corey Smith Jr. is the first person in the county to be indicted on federal charges for selling a deadly dose of fentanyl. Investigators say that he gave 46-year-old Bradley Dykes the fentanyl that he died from last November. Pasco County deputies tonight asking for your help finding this burglar caught on camera here. Deputies releasing this picture. They say that he broke in to a home in Hudson late last week. If you know anything, call the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. In other news tonight, there is now a new tool to help you know which city projects are going on in your neighborhood. Just go to stpete.org slash stat. It has interactive maps that uses live data to show you what projects are happening and how well each city department is doing its job. And AAA saying that gas prices dropped for a 16th straight day. Here in the Bay Area, gas is averaging at $2.72 a gallon. That is significantly lower than the state and national average. Here's Jason now with your forecast. Jason. Pretty much what we've been seeing over the last couple of days is what I'm expecting for Tuesday. We'll see highs back up to near 90 degrees. We'll start out into the mid and upper 70s into the morning, climbing into the 80s through 9 and 10 a.m. 87 by noon, 90 for your forecast high temperature, and there will be the chance for a few sea breeze thunderstorms to develop, mainly from I-75 and inland. So on the beaches, a 20% chance to see a shower or storm, but from I-75 and inland, 30 to 40% chances for some of those afternoon and evening storms. Much of the same could be expected as we head into your Wednesday outlook too. Paul. Jason, thank you. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.